Hi, so this will be the last video of this series and uh, I want to show you um, how to filter and how to export. Um, actually the hardest part in the whole thing because now you have merged data out of two data sets and you could work nicely with it but uh, the thing is now you want to investigate the data and filtering is one big part and um, maybe you want to do some filtering in Excel later on but um, I always recommend to do some first filters in Pandas um, because it's much quicker and Excel will crash easily with big data sets. That's not a big data set, but anyway. Uh, so what I like to do um, if I filter, I like to do a copy of the data frame so that I could apply multiple filters. And um, let's just show some filters here. Um, so this does the copy and um, this one is filtering for uh, uh, article text box. So this column to be zero. And uh, in addition, it filters this column to be less than four. So this ID should be out. So let's see. Um, yeah, there's nothing with a five. So the ID with the five is out. Um, what else could you filter? Uh, as another example, there's there's multiple functions. It's here, this filter functions, but there's also a function called contain, uh, contain, sorry. Um, where is it? So this one, and that's also a really powerful one uh, to filter. So in this case, uh, I can show you how to do it like this. So this would filter out out of the existing data frame, just uh, the, the rows with address having .ch slash news and .ch slash weather. There's no example for weather here, but yeah, it works like that. Um, the last thing, at some point, you maybe want to go to Excel because there you can visually filter much faster and you don't have to, um, maybe you know Excel better. So this is the way you could export to a CSV tab separated. And this will create a file and that's it. So, um, have fun with Python Pandas.